Speaking of the dry conditions, about 90% of Louisiana is under a severe to exceptional drought. According to the U.S. Drought Monitor, that prompted the state fire marshal here to issue a statewide burn ban for non-agricultural purposes. The state's average rainfall for the year is about 10 inches below normal. And the Drought Monitor predicts the conditions only will worsen as the summer wanes on. This week in Louisiana Agriculture's Kristen Oaks met recently with one crawfish farmer in Ville Platte who says the drought is not only draining his traps, it's draining his pockets. With every trap he checks, Edgar Gallo finds fewer crawfish than the day before. Boy, Edgar, we need some rain. Edgar and his boss, Mitch Benson, know the drought is to blame for why these traps aren't catching their potential. It rained about an inch three weeks ago, but then we have north winds right after and just dries it up. We're probably 16 inches short of rain. A lot of ponds are drained because they just weren't catch enough to pay for the water. Just drained of two plant soybean. But that was not an option for Benson. You see, crawfish and rice are his bread and butter. To keep those crops alive, he was forced to install an electric water pump to irrigate his fields. On an average year, we might not pump till later, uh, till in June. But I have to always have water running in here every two weeks. I'm paying $3.30 a gallon of fuel, burning 1,500 gallons every two weeks. That's about $10,000 a month Benson spends on water alone. Crawfish expert Robert Romare says pump water does not replace the fresh rainwater. By not having fresh water, it just gets this water very, very hot, somewhat stagnant, and those are not very, very good growing conditions for crawfish. The oxygen levels get low, the crawfish get stressed, they're not really attracted to the baited traps. So it typically does result in a decrease in, in catch when a crawfish farmer really can't get that good rainfall to freshen up and improve the water quality in his pond. As the temperature continues to rise, your crawfish season could be cut short. Also the very hot weather it does have a tendency to make the crawfish mature somewhat earlier. And when they mature, they actually they're not so attracted to the baits and the traps, and they have a tendency to actually begin the reproductive process by burrowing in the ground. So we typically see catches drop off quite dramatically. So what that normally will do is simply shorten up the crawfish season. Benson's traps may be low, but the crawfish he is catching are very large and will bring him a premium price. When the crawfish are particularly large size, that just tells us that we have relatively low density, and that all goes back to of the fall of the year when we really had a very dry summer, a very dry fall, and it just impacted reproduction in the crawfish and we just didn't have very large crawfish populations. So crawfish numbers are not high, but the quality of crawfish here is really excellent. At the end of the day, Benson says as long as he's catching enough of these red giants to pay the bill, he will keep the pump running. In Ville Platte, I'm Kristen Oaks for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. Dr. Romare said after the floodwaters recede from the Atchafalaya Basin, the crawfish catch will dramatically improve for basin fishermen. Some good news there.